Hi, I'm GT Dave. I'm founder and CEO of GT's Living Foods. Being a leader in the LGBTQ community has certainly been interesting because as being gay, you're definitely a mi minority and therefore you're not necessarily comfortable with sharing certain things about your lifestyle because they might be judged or even discriminated. So for the first 90% of my career, I actually wasn't out. Um, it's not that I was hiding it, I just wasn't talking about it. But there were clearly people that could read between the lines, so it was something that was kind of unspoken. But then about five years ago, I decided to just own it, right? And just celebrate who I am. Because in many ways, I think that by showing people who I am, I'm kind of exposing a different side of being gay and hopefully breaking down some of the stereotypes. Growing up, I really didn't have an LGBTQ mentor really to look up to. And honestly, that was fine because in many ways, I didn't have a set path to follow. I was able to pave my own way. And looking back, that's something that I'm very grateful for. Now, I did have friends that would share with me their life story. So I was able to kind of live vicariously through them and also listen to some of the life experiences that they went through, good and bad and make sure that I could apply those lessons to my own, my own life. Now, growing up and being you know, professional now, I'm excited to actually become a mentor to the LGBTQ youth because I think in many ways there's so many different colors and shades of being gay and hopefully I can share with them one way of living. The role that companies and brands today can use to invite and include the LGBTQ community as well as advance them so first of all, make sure that it's clear that there's not just one role that this community can exist in. I think until recently, we've been very much um, exposed to the creative side of brands and companies, but there's also other roles that I think we can excel in. In addition to that, I think in the sales and marketing of any brand, it's, make, it's important to make sure that you're showing an inclusive world. And that, that's not just limited to the LGBTQ community, it's also any and every minority. I think it's important that in those advertisements, in those photographs, in those videos, and in those ads, that you showcase a world that no matter who you are, you can look at that and say, there is a place for me. For any LGBTQ business owner or entrepreneur, the advice that I would give is to embrace who you are and the gift that you've been blessed with. I believe that when you are a member of the LGBTQ community, that in many ways you possess this interesting balance of masculine and feminine. And what that means is that you can be strong, yet sensitive, vulnerable, yet resilient. And I think all these different kind of dichotomies that you possess, if you apply them, you can create some incredible art and bring some beautiful things into the world. So during this gift of time, I've been able to reconnect with my personal life, catch up on sleep, experience my house, which I'm you know, embarrassed to say I don't really experience that often during normal times. And um, it's a really great way to just kind of meditate and reflect and make sure that who you are today is somebody that you want to be.